What's up guys, it's your girl Liza and today is a good day to do an unboxing. So if you're a fan of Outlander, it is a huge series reading wise. I have honestly not actually read it yet, but I do watch the series on stars and it is fantastic. So Lit Joy, I've subscribed to them for their magical crate, their Harry Potter crate, and I have done their YA book crate that they actually no longer do. Now it's a t uh, to be read uh, box that's really hard to get into. It's on a waiting list now, but they do special edition boxes and they did one for Outlander called the Sassanut Crate. And I mean, just look at how huge this thing is. So this was a limited edition. I believe I paid $125 for this box. Um, but it is themed around the show Outlander. If you don't know Outlander, Outlander follows our characters um, Claire Randall and James Frazier. So Claire, she's she is married to a man named Frank, Frank Randall, and they hadn't seen each other for a while because they were both fighting in the war. So they decide to have their honeymoon years later and they go to Scotland. Well, while in Scotland, there's some ceremony that goes on by these stones at Craignadoon in Scotland. Claire goes back to go look for some kind of flowers or herbs because she was into botany and the stones kind of make this noise to her. She touches them and she ends up traveling 200 years into the past. Now, mind you, when she goes to Scotland with her husband, it is the year 1946, I believe, 1942. And when she goes back, it is seven, it's the 1700s. I want to say it's 1942 and 1742. I might actually be able to tell in the back of this. 45, 1945 when it starts. And she goes back to 1745. So it's here that while she's trying to figure out what the heck just happened to her, that she runs into the Redcoats because this is during the time of the Revolutionary War. And she is saved by some Scottish shoulder soldiers, one of which name is James Fraser. So this goes back and forth and not to spoil it too much. It goes back and forth in time. Um, she does continue to travel. I believe she spends two years in Scotland and you can imagine what that kind of does to her. She's trying to get back to her husband, Frank, and get back to these stones. So over this course of two years, she forms a relationship with Jamie Fraser, and it is just a beautiful romance. It's a historical fiction and it is wonderful and if you are into um, anything spicy the show is full of it okay I mean it is James Frazier so the first five seasons are available on Netflix and then you do have to watch season six on stars there is a season seven it does come out next Friday June 16th season seven I do not know if this is going to be the final season or not but every season I've watched thus far, which has been six seasons, have been fantastic. I haven't gotten bored with it. So when Lit Joy Crate came out with a limited edition Sassanok box, I had to check it out. Now I have opened this crate and went through it because I got it last year before I was actually doing the channel. But then I was moving and so I haven't actually unpacked the box yet. So it is still, everything is still in there exactly how I found it. So we're going to go back through. I also, when I opened this, it was before I had completed seasons four, five, and six. So it may be a little more familiar to me, the contents in there now than it was at the time I opened it. So looking at the box, it is very pretty very detailed and Litjoy is really good with this their magical crate their Harry Potter crate and their young adult crate the young adult one I think is just blue when I got it but the Harry Potter one it is different every time it is themed to um, what their monthly theme for the box is I think I got three or four of them everything in it is amazing 
and they do collections they do like a key collection and they have a key for this box i don't believe one came in this one and they have different ones that go in the magical crates and their young adult crate so starting with the first item when you open the box like i said it is still in the condition that i originally opened it in so it is packed full the first thing I believe this is a spoiler card it's a spoiler card so we'll look at it at the end but it does have a silhouette of Claire and Jamie at the stones on the front of it and it is a it's got the stones on the back as well like I said I won't show you the front yet and then it's got a here is I'll show you this part here is Claire and then here is Jamie with season seven coming I thought this was a perfect time to do this box so the first thing in here is a shawl it is a brown and blue it's very large like when I say large I mean it can fit all the way around this is the shawl that Claire wears in the series so what I loved about everything that I know is coming in this box is it's all very centered around the series I have not read the books I have been told that the series follows the books so well that you really don't need to read the books if you're watching the series so it's that detailed I may still pick up book one just to kind of confirm that for myself but like I said it is a clunker of a book so the first thing we had was Claire Shawl the next thing in the box is a tote bag that says I'm not the meek and obedient type this is a very large tote bag and it is very heavy it is like a thick material this is not like your normal book tote bag everything that comes from LitJoy is such great quality it is worth every penny so I think I paid about $125 for this crate but there is well over the worth in the box um, plus if you are a lover of the show just the details in it are worth it on its own LitJoy does also have a set of um, Sassanac stuff for Outlander that is not in the box and I don't know if you order another box if some of those come in it or if this was like a one-time box and you can just buy other things but they do have a lot more Sassanac things that are still on sale I don't believe the box is still available but you can go and buy these items along with other items so the next thing that's in here is a um, a bookmark a bookmark and it's got Claire and Jamie on it and they are wearing the shawl he is covering her with the shawl then then we also have a I don't know if this is wooden a wooden bookmark and it looks to be hand painted so we have Jamie and Claire I don't know if coming closer helps. I think staying further away may help, but we'll just, just in case. So we have a wooden bookmark as well. Then we have, I think it's just of Jamie, which this is probably going to end up on my bookshelf, but it is a silhouette. Or no, it's the back of him. It's the back of Jamie. And it's on like a little stand, so you can stand him up. So this may go on my bookshelf next to my Outlander book then okay next we have a pin that says jesu priest on it this is significant in the show this saying and there's an episode with that's titled with this i don't remember what it means so i'm going to have to look at it we then have some mints it says claire's oh no no they're not mints it's tea it's loose leaf tea it says claire's highland herbal blend and it is a loose leaf tea and then there are steeping and infusing um, instructions on the back of it we then have 
a soap and it is a dragonfly in amber so if you are a fan of the show you know that Claire um, Jamie has a friend he's mute and he gives this to them as a wedding gift it is a dragonfly in amber next we have a trinket dish and it says ye are blood of my blood and bone of my bone I give you my body that two might be one I give you my spirit till our life shall be done so this are this is the wedding vows from their wedding and so it's a trinket dish we then have a cup and saucer which let's see if I can get through this before my camera dies we have a cup and saucer teacup and it says take me home to lollybrock this is something that claire tells jamie when she thinks that she's going to leave and go back to the stones and decides to stay with him so there's both sides and there is a matching dish So that is the dish that it goes on. We've got the gloves that Claire wears in the show. Great material, very soft. And last, which is my favorite item in the box, it is a music box. It has them by the stones. The inside, it plays the theme song from the show. Okay, we're back. Uh, I thought my camera was dying. It was not. It was just my memory card was full. So I had to clear some things that I have already filmed um, and posted. So let's go back to the last thing that I was looking at because I'm not sure how much of it got in there. So we had a satchel with the wedding ring that Jamie gives to Claire on a necklace. The inside of it says Sassanac engraved which is exactly what he did he had i think he had a family friend um make it out of something that belonged to his mother if i'm remembering right i could be wrong but i'm pretty sure i'm right on that um and so this is an exact replica of the ring that he gave her and it will go very nicely in the trinket dish with the wedding vows so if you didn't see it close enough the music box my favorite thing in the box it has the two of them at the stones the inside is where the ring was and then it plays the theme song from the series which i think is really uh awesome for the price all the things you get is just well worth it i'm going to now go through the cheat sheet so we can go back over one more time everything that came in the box we had the wedding vows trinket dish which was here we had the scarf slash blanket we had the pocket sized jamie stand in case you ever want to take jamie with you it says it comes with a protective film that can be that should be removed before displaying so this does come off and you can see the front of him you guys i would have had this on my stand just with the back of his head sitting up not even knowing that i could have had his face on there so this is um not just his face from the actual show this was some artwork that i will mention the artist that they sit in here can't get this last piece off so but this is the front of it and then of course we have the back so when you stand it up this is a protective cover on here too it will just be, yep that fits in there much better and then you can just i can stand him on my bookshelf so the artwork for that is by susan murdoch and then we had the music box that i just showed you we have the teacup with the um dish which i really like I like every detail. I like how it says take me home to Lollybrock on it. It has the key because that is where the ring came from. That's right. He took the key, I believe, to the house, a spare key, and had her wedding ring um, 
made from from it being melted so the details and everything are very beautiful the fact that the trinket dish you can put the ring in the ring is engraved the way he had it in the series and then the dish is actual their actual wedding vows i think is really beautiful and then we had the tea which you can make and put in the teacup claire's highland blend we also had the dragonfly in amber soap we had the Celtic Knot shawl pin. So let me see if it says what Jesu Priest was. It was, so it is used to hold the shawl together. And it is the Fraser clan motto, Jesu Priest. Um, you can tell the world that you are ready for whatever life brings you. And then we've got the knit gloves, Claire's gloves here that came in it. We've got the wood bookmark the it says the medicinal herbs bag am i missing something that may just be what the ring came in um because claire they think she's a witch in the show because she is a nurse in her time and then later a doctor and so she's a healer and they think she's a witch because she obviously knows a lot of healing properties from 200 years in the future that don't exist yet in the past so this says you can collect your favorite herbs and wildflowers in your canvas medicinal tote be, but, but be careful you aren't accused of being a witch and then we have the Lollybrock ring necklace. And that was everything in there. So to me, everything in here, the way that it was detailed to the series, the quality, like this is actual porcelain. The trinket dish is porcelain lined with some, um, some gold. Like it is just very beautiful. And I think that it is 100% worth the price. Like I said, I don't think it is still available but I will link Lit Joy Crate down below. You can check it out if you're a fan of the show. If it is not still available, you can still purchase some things from the box as well as other things that did not come in the box. Um, so definitely check that out with the new series coming out. I am super excited. I hope that you enjoyed everything that came in the box and the unboxing. I do have some future unboxings coming up that I'm excited about. So I've been, do, been doing some from some small Etsy shops. Um, I already did two, but it is going to be in my weekly vlog. So that will come out sometime next week because I have some things coming up this week that I wanted to include in there. So if you are a fan, if you've watched the show, if you're curious about the show, let me know in the comments. And I definitely want to hear what everybody thinks about the premiere of season seven, which will be next Friday, June 16th. So um, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.